A group of researchers at UBC is diving into a noisy issue in our oceans. Underwater noise is getting worse, and that can harm whales and other marine mammals. Here's CTV's Michelle Bernaro with what's being done. Beneath the water's surface, a marine world that has had to adjust to a much noisier environment along BC's coast. In the last 20, 30 years, amount of noise has increased about 20 decibels, which is a lot. Noise in the ocean has increased along with shipping traffic. Researchers say the Port of Vancouver sees up to 4,000 vessels every year, and they bring with them noisy propellers, which up close can be almost as loud as a jet engine and disrupt marine life within a 100 kilometer radius. Noise probably affects all marine mammals. We suspect that some are more sensitive than others, depending on the extent to which they use uh, sound to communicate and to find their food or to avoid being eaten. Chronic ship noise can lead to stress hearing loss and feeding problems for marine mammals. And I think it comes as a real shock when we hear just how noisy uh, the ocean has become. So for example in BC probably the biggest source of noise we, we have right now is from BC ferries. It's a very complex problem. Supported by federal funding, UBC engineers are looking at ways to dampen noise from propellers by minimizing turbulence. One solution may be to inject a jet of fluid to help control propeller movement. We are looking at uh, uh, engineering design. Can we improve the design of these uh, propellers and vessels? Researchers are also developing artificial intelligence that will alert ship operators to marine mammals so they can adjust their location. Trite says mammals have found ways to compensate for the increased noise. Those seem to be the ways in which marine mammals are adapting is to have to call louder and to be closer together. But he hopes new research will uncover solutions that reduce underwater noise pollution. Michelle Bernoro, CTV News, Vancouver.